Danny, you and Sash always play brutally tight matches. But when it comes down to the big points today, you were able to apply that extra pressure in the breaker and then that last game. How were you able to do that? Yeah, if, I don't know if it's even extra pressure, but uh, the court kind of puts pressure, especially when we play against Sasha, we both have big serves. So in general, I think if we take games, uh, maybe out of 10 games we played uh, each on serve or maybe more, seven would be kind of easy. And then the other three is where the tightness is there and you try to put pressure on your opponent. Same on the tiebreak. I mean, just a couple of points difference and uh, I'm happy that I managed to, to play well uh, in the most important points. Uh, that was the difference, yeah. You mentioned the court there. Carlos said, you know, it's weird that we play on slower courts all year, then it's very fast here. Do you think this should possibly be slower or we should have some faster courts also throughout the year? I think I agree with him that it's weird that this one is so fast. But what is weird is that the other ones are so slow. Like Paris, Paris was, was, was unbelievable. Like I played with Grigor, I mean, it was a great match. He made finals. But going after the match, I was like, you know, 47 match, uh, 47 rally I won on the match point. Well, that's not normal. Uh, you know, today we had what? And we, me, me and Sasha would like to play long rallies, but probably what would be 20 shots at max, and I'm not even sure. And I think it's good that we have some slow hard courts, even if I don't like it. It's good to give uh, opportunity to different styles of players. But in general, uh, hard court is meant to be fast, so I would like to see a little bit uh, more faster hard courts. All right, man, you're looking very good into the semis. Best of luck. Thanks. Thanks a lot.